Hello everyone, I'm Greycloak, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 305 of Factorio with Angels and Bob's Mods, where we are just trying to optimize our mod production a little bit, because we were going to need a lot more viscous mud water if we wanted to just speed it up, and we need mud for zombie eucalyptus, which we need for beans, which we need for our puffer farm. So... Let's try and do this. We're just trying to move everything a little bit closer together and using offshore pumps for water. Now this won't be able to go right up against there because of the belt. Let's just put it down there. But if we are going to remove this anyway, we can do that instead maybe. As long as this can keep up, at least. And then we can take this. And move up there. We need more landfill. Let's grow, go to grab some. I'm going to be making a lot of mistakes with water here. I think... oh, what's up with all of this? Ace Mineral Oil. Don't we surf that down here? Yep. Only one piece. If even we want one. Don't think we do. Zero. I think we're making landfill down at multi-processing. Okay, that's probably fine for now. It is a bit annoying that we need these long rows because of the underground pipe. Is there a way to get rid of that? don't have the space for something like this. We'll just live with this, I guess. <clears throat> oh, of course, we actually also need underground pipe in here, going sideways at least. So we can put that thing in there. Decrease that angle. Should have a water thing here somewhere. Did I go past it? I had a copy of this water at some point. Why is it not there? It is.
Oh, because I'm messing up being in the middle of the paste bubble. Uh, just a second. Actually, it's a lot easier to figure out if we just have a lot of one B. But we need more space up here as well. Dang it! So much wasted space. Could of course fit all of the all of the beacons between the columns instead of in rows. That would make all of this closer together. It would make a little bit more space between each column though. Nah, let's just keep doing this. We can always just move everything up to have more space for these. I was just hoping we could save more space than we are. Uh, landfill. And yes, we could just fill in all of this now. But I'm not sure I want to do that. That always feels a little bit cheaty. Not that everything else isn't, but it's all about what you're comfortable doing. This is fine, right? Power-wise, at least. Yep. Why are we not getting enough? Because apparently we have viscous mud water here. Okay. So we can maybe fit in one more of these. We can't fit in that other one. Again, not enough risk is much more up. So we should probably move everything up. Do we know how much we need? We should probably figure that out before starting to move everything. These are not able to work anymore. Great. How about some pumps then? We could 
could of course just look at this in hill mod, that would probably help a bit. Still not enough. Hell mod it is. What treatment? We want to end up with this. But those are actually all of the levels should be equal. We don't have a recipe for this stuff, dang it. But we can figure out how much we need and how much these can pump. 300 per second. Well, let's say we get it from this one. We want something like 10,000 of this per second. We want beacons. Mm, I thought we could actually get this from earlier. I'm sure there's a way to do this better than I am. But I can't figure it out. So how many are we gonna have affecting each machine here? Nine, eighteen. Then does these also reach? Yep. Eighteen. Hopefully that's the same all around. It will be. Okay. Eighteen, please. And please apply this to everything. If we do that correctly, yes, I think. Eh, not really. These numbers should be equal. Oh, we need this. Is that correct? Yes. So well, we need 10,000 coming in for 10,000 going out, I guess. That is one of each machines. How far can we go with this? With one machine in each column? Not to 20,000. Up to 15,000. 12,000 as possible. 13,000 is not. Let's just go with 12 then. That produces 225 per second. Which just sounds like a lot, I guess. But it's better than nothing. So 12,000 viscous mud water, whoops. 300 from each of these. 10 is 3,000. 40 is 12,000. Is that really true? What do we need 12,000? Oh, in any case, this pipe can't handle that amount. But neither will these. So there's really no reason for all of this. If we can't get it in, at least. It seems like that's good enough. At least almost. Almost. 
so maybe it's not hopeless. We might need more than the belt can carry here. Really. 45 per second in each of these, that's a full belt. But it doesn't seem like that's how it works. So, this pipe is a problem. Of course, it is. So, maybe we can move everything a little bit closer. I guess we didn't have full speed boost on all of these. But this seems to be doing good. I think we're gonna need this though. Let's see if we can't move all of this further up now that we don't have underground. Uh, pipes. I'm not sure I'm so bad at speaking. These can be moved up. I wonder if we can make this closer. This would be here, so we'll need another one there. So this doesn't help at all. But... So we actually only have one, two, three, four, five, and the sixth. Then we have twelve affecting each machine, except for these ones. We actually need to do something up here. But that's okay. We shall figure it out. Well. thousand doesn't work right. It does, okay. I'm not sure how these are able to keep up. It does say that the output is full, I guess. Let's move them as close together as we can. If we move this and this, this will be able to fit up there, right? Except for the output provider chest. Put down here if we want to. Sure, let's do that. Let's do that everywhere though. In. Move 
pesa. Sí, now we're actually saving some space here. Don't really need more water to seem like we were doing okay. Let's just get it in anyway, cause then we can figure everything out afterwards. That is not enough. Let's get these as close as possible. Still doesn't work with that. Doesn't work for that one either. And it's not like these are all working, right? This is not most of the time. No, oh, some of these are still done. But now this actually looks okay. Up is full. Up is full. Up is full. So this is not sped up enough, as we talked about. Also, we have so much of this and we're not using it for anything. Just a thought, we could also use, instead of pumps, have uh, storage tanks in here. The reason I'm thinking about this, that is that I pretty much would like to be able to split this out into several lines, but it's probably not necessary. How many of these are working? Those are not. Those are not. Oh, wait, because we're blocked up, we can't really see that. But I guess we would potentially want. Beacons up here as well. these pipes will affect performance. It would 
probably be better to just move these up one tile. To have another pump. So we're back to not having enough business because I've removed too much down here. Still not enough. Sometimes not enough. These really all work. Seems like it. Output is blocked a lot in this one. Why is that? Because of this pipe, I guess. Dang it, that's annoying. Space for this actually. We don't have to do this for all of the machines. Each of these will output 10,000 of whatever fluid. So just one row with this, and then we can make everything else a little bit better. Is this the best we can do? I guess so. Everything is mostly working, so I think it is a lot better than it was. This one is not working, but everything else is okay. I guess this should have been moved up to remove. Oh, I guess everything should have been moved up one time to remove this pipe or another pump. But I think I'm too lazy to do that right now. Am I though? Oh yeah, these are also affected by beacons. I forgot all about that. Okay, time to try something else. Because why not waste more time, right? How about we put the beacons in columns? this all the way down on the job. For ease of doing this stuff, let's just fill this out. Don't need this. All of this pipe is only necessary because we need it for these. Maybe we should not actually base the full setup on having that. 
then we only have a problem with the input, I guess. Which is a big problem still, but... What if... I think this will still be a problem. Elmod at least says that we need 10,000 in to saturate them. And we're gonna get more beacon coverage now than we were before, I think. Maybe, maybe not. Can't see anything. I guess we won't get as many down here actually. But this one will be affected by how many sources? Doesn't see. Does we have no sources without this? 16. It isn't really two long lines. Anything this stuff. But this is fine. It's at least 10,000 per second that we can process. So, now that we have a little bit more space between our machines here, we always will also have a little bit more space for this stuff. So, what if we took storage tanks remove most of this for now because it's hard to do everything on the wall mm. i'm not sure if i just want to do this i think we need well, the top one is okay, but we need to pumps between each of these, for sure. If we did something like that... This can even be right up here. Uh, water. We can only put into one into every one of these. Plus of the pumps in between. But we only really well, we're losing two spaces for that, but that's okay. For efficiency, I think this is fine. We have water over here for the next line. Let's just mark that. That will also be where we get the next set of viscous mud water from. But we also need water here. Somewhere. Doesn't actually make a difference now, does it? Mm, there's nothing to gain by hitting this, right? Nah. 
as we want it to be paired up like that, but I don't care. Let's just have symmetry. We want more of these down here, I guess so. This, this will be the limiting factor in all of this. this amount of stuff. That's not enough. all of this up one time maybe we can get in one more it's not really something we want to mm. it's either that or make another three times down here so yes that is something we want to do up one tile water one more tile eh. I need somewhere to get through this. I guess that will have to wait. So now we can do that. For that sake, let's put everything at the bottom. Entirely enough, but I think we're doing great. Mm. Would we be performing as good without half of these pumps? I think so. Would that allow us to input more? Instead of six plus one, so seven. Three more. I hope that's good performance. Hmm. So we can also just add more space. Here.
the exception of this, this might be a little bit pretty. Sure. Let's go with this. Locked on output now. Again, I'm not gonna worry about if this is not full performance. As it is only this column that will have the pipe in between there. all of this and we can just add some ground here I guess yeah hey let's just get it all running first blue because the next column will be different anyway Also, maybe we should move all of this up to here, so we don't have to remove this stuff down here. Sounds like a good idea to me. But... Tough to see where anything goes here. That is the top. fill that in again, but for now we just need to do this. Whoops. There's a world where we can fit even more of these in. I don't think so. Well, maybe there is, but I don't think I care enough right now. And I think we're fine. With the throughput of this at least. set up here. I guess we'll just make this high up. Still need this. Still need this. Still need 
water and reach the way here. So we can even go this close. Need to go up there. Oh, let's just fill this in if we had enough water. And of course, we hope that we won't have any supply issues between each machine by doing this, putting them right up against each other. And then it's just the viscous stuff. everything to be a bit prettier. Could just move it a little bit further down, I guess. Basically want this to go all the way down there. So. Hmm. would want something like this still. Oh, I didn't get the pumps. It isn't a lot of space we have saved, but still. Hopefully it's enough. Is this actually bad? They are affected by 18, 16 ish, only 14 up here, but we can extend that. We have just 16 then. We will be limited by the 16 ones. That's okay. Can make more viscous mud water down here if we want to. How much space do we have in between here? Four slots or four tiles. So this seems reasonable. Oh, missed that. Hmm. 
should measure this from this side though, because this is the ordinary side. gonna find a way that allows us to power everything with just two of these. I don't think so. No, so three it's fine I guess. need more water of all things so that's our limiting factor we could have figured that out because we only found 1200 per second so we can probably live without some of these one two three Six. Six of them are not running. That's basically all on this side. Or we can just remove these bottom ones. And then make everything a little bit prettier. So we can remove two more. Something like that. Still, those two are not running, but that might be because we are emptying out these real ones. to let it run for a bit at least. Water is still the problem. This is all fine. We should of course actually put these out. Light mud, thin mud. Concentrated, light mud. You go there. Actually, let's ignore that. I'm guessing we're still missing a lot of blood right? because we probably haven't really improved anything. Yep. We have just removed stuff. But at least now we know that we can do all of this. Also, we do not need three of those at all. Wait, why are these not lined up? They're limited more by water than anything else, I think, so... We should be good. Actually, we have too much. No, that's we shouldn't care about those machines. This is what we're talking about, and it is fine. Yeah. 
So we need to scale on this setup. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.